So last up we were working with natural minor scales, natural minor scales. And we saw that there are different ways to make scales besides the major scale, and we learned that A minor is the most friendly natural minor scale, uh, because it has no sharps and flats. And therefore you can just write A, B simply in the lines and spaces like this, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and A, and you can get a beautiful A minor scale. Today we're going to make the rest of the scales, okay? In this video we're going to make the rest of the scales. Again, we had A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and A, okay? And with this we can find our pattern. And the pattern we found last time was whole step, uh, half step, whole step, whole, half, whole, and finally one more whole step, okay? So I'm gonna go a little bit faster today talking about all the rest of the minor scales. We're gonna do B, natural minor, next, okay? So go ahead and start up the video if you want and see if you can figure out what accidentals are needed to write B, natural minor. Otherwise, I'm going to continue and you can follow along. So we got B, C, D, E, F, G, A, and B. And all we're doing is following this pattern. If you remember your whole steps and half steps, that's great. If you need a keyboard, that's useful as well. Otherwise, we will continue. I'm going to do it without a keyboard today and see if you can follow along. We have B to C sharp is the whole step, so we got to put a sharp here instead of a half, otherwise it would be a half step. We need a half step next, uh, so C sharp to D is a half step, so that's good. D to E is a natural whole step, so that's good. This is only a half step, but we need E to F to be a whole step, so we have to put a sharp here. Okay, so again we have our whole, half, whole, whole, half, whole, and finally one more whole step, okay? And if you follow along, um, F sharp to G is a half step, so that checks out. Um, G to A is a whole step, and A to B is a whole step as well. And so that is our B natural minor scale. We have B, C sharp, D, E, F sharp, G, A, and B. And that is our B natural minor scale. Okay, let's go ahead and do C minor next. We're just going A, B, C right now. We will switch this up in a bit and keep going with crazier scales. Um, let's see, we start on a C. We'll start with this low C down here. C, D, E, just the easiest thing is to write all seven or eight notes, eight if you include your, your root note, and everything else goes like that, okay? So we have, again, I'll write, I'll go a little bit slower here. C, D, E, F, G, a, B, C. Now if you look at this, you might say, hey, that's C major, and you're correct, <laughs> and it's not C minor, and that's absolutely correct, so we have to make it minor by following this pattern. So a whole step, this is good. Half step, that's not good, so we need to put a, a, a flat there to make this into a half step. Uh, we got a whole step, this is good. We need a whole again, that's good. We need a half step, we need to put a flat to get a half step. We need a whole step next, put a flat there, and finally, we got one more, oops, that's a really strange looking whole step. We need a whole step here, okay? And that brings us back. So we got C, D, E, F, E flat, I'm sorry, E flat, F, G, A flat, B flat, and C. These are our notes for the C natural minor scale. Maybe I can do this and make that really clear. B, C, okay, like, whatever, we'll do this, and then it'll be easier to see that way. Okay, so we got A B minor, B minor, and C minor. C A natural minor, B natural minor, and C natural minor. Let's go ahead and keep going. Uh, next is going to be F. I'm going to switch up and use a bass clef. Oops. Huh. I lost my other point there on the colon. Cool. Okay, so we're going to use a bass clef. We're going to go with F minor next. F minor next. We're going to write our notes. F, G, A, B, C, D, E, and F, dot, 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 okay? We got F, I'll write the notes out here, F, G, or we'll, we can write them at the top, right? Because I've been doing that. So we'll go ahead and write our notes here, just in case you have a little trouble with your lines and spaces here. F, G, A, B, C, D, E, and F, E, and F, keep hitting my undo button. Okay, and we'll uh, go ahead and use this color to figure out accidentals. Okay, so we need a whole step, uh, whole step, whole step, oops, whole half, I keep doing that, whole half, whole, whole half, 
That's a make sure that's really a W. Whole half whole, whole half whole, and a whole step here. Okay. Uh, and we'll use this for our accidental color. Okay, so we got F to G. This is a whole step. This checks out. G to A is not a half step, but if we make A flat, if we make A flat, it is. Um, a flat to B is three half steps. That's too much by far, so we need to bring it closer by making this flat, by making this flat. A uh, whole step between B flat and C looks good. A uh, half step between C and D is wrong, so this has to be flat. B flat. Oops, wrong side. <laughs> Make sure you put your accidentals on the right side, which is the left side of the note and the right side of the letter. Okay. This is correct. The, the, the accidental goes on this side. The accidental goes on this side when writing the note and writing the letter. Okay, so finally, we have a, a whole step here between D flat and E, and that's incorrect. So we have to put a flat here to make it a whole step, to make it a whole step. And finally, we have uh, E flat to F is a whole step that is correct. Okay, and so our notes are F, G, A flat, B flat, C, D flat, E flat, and F. The next one we're going to do is simply G. We're still in bass clef, but I'll save some room if I don't write our clef. We got G, A, B, C, D, E, F, and G. We have all our notes. We can write, we're running out of room here a little bit. That's gonna be a little dangerous, but we will see if we can figure this out. This is going to be G, A, B, C, D, E, F, and G. We're making G natural minor again with our whole step and half step pattern. Whole, half, whole, whole, half, whole, and a whole step. I uh, will use this salmon color to make the colors, or to make the accidental pop out. Okay, so a whole step between G and A checks out. That's fine. A uh, half step between A and B, I think not. We have to put a flat, so we got B flat. A whole step between B flat and C, that's a check. C to D is a whole step, that's also a check. D to E is not a half step, that's a whole step, so we need to put a flat here. And finally we have two more notes, and both of these are whole steps. E flat to F and F to G are both whole steps. So our notes are simply G, A, B flat, C, D, E flat, F, and G for G natural minor. Uh, let's see, we have A, B, C, D, we missed, wait, we missed D and E, ha ha ha, we missed D and E, let's go back and do those. Um, we can go ahead and use an alto clef just to make things interesting. I'll label the notes as we go, because I know alto clef is not everyone's favorite. It's one of my favorites, kind of, in a way, but we will figure this out. To write a D, we need to write all the way down, this is an F, so we gotta go down one line. This is our D here, D. We have the notes next. This is going to be E, F, G. I'll give us some room because I will just do uh, two more here. Maybe we can split there. Okay, and we'll do um, other natural minor scales in the next video. D, E, F, G, A, B, C, and D minor. Okay, so we got D, E, F, G, A, B, C, and D for D minor. And we're gonna need our accidentals, so here we go. So whole, half, whole. My H's aren't coming out well. D, uh, whole, half, whole. Whole, half, whole, and a whole step. And then we need to put in accidentals. Okay, so we got D to E, this is uh, a whole step. And we already figured this one out last time that we uh, if you remember from last time, if you remember the answer, you can do this really easily. But otherwise, we're going to work it out again. So we got D to E. This is a whole step. E to F is already a half step. F to G is already a whole step. G to A is already a whole step. A to B is not. So we need to make a, we need to make this A B flat to make it a half step between A and B flat. Okay. So B flat to C is a whole step, and C to D is a whole step. Okay. So our notes are simply D, E, F, G, A, B flat, C, and D for D minor. We have one more minor to go. Uh, we're going to use the uh, the alto clef here still. I'll write one more because we have plenty of room. And here we go. Uh, we're going to do E minor. E starts here. E, F. Go ahead and write our notes. F, G, A, B, C, D, and E. 
Okay, so we have D, oops, E, <laughs> we have E, F, almost, G, A, B, C, D, and E. Hopefully you know our pattern by now, but in case, <laughs> we can always write it more. Uh, we got a hole, or oh, that's a really weird place to write it. Let's go ahead and write it up down, down here. Hole, half hole, hole, half hole, and a hole. Okay. One more, we're gonna use green for our accidentals just like we did back there. Uh, we got E to F, this is not a whole step, so we need to put a sharp here to make this a whole step. We gotta move this away, it's only a half step, we gotta move it away. Uh, you can't change this note, don't bother changing this note, we always have to change the new note we're going to. You cannot change the note. If you made if you made this like E, uh, for example, if you said, uh, well this is E to F, that's a whole step. Uh, that's a half step, but I want to make it a whole step. So your options are either to make this a sharp, or you could make this a flat. But if you make this a flat, now your scale is E flat natural minor. Natural minor. And that's not what we want, right? We want E natural minor. So you got to keep that note the same. Okay, go ahead and erase all this. Okay, so we got E to F sharp is a whole step. F sharp to G is that half step, so that's good. G to A is a whole step, A to B is a whole step, B to C is a half step, C to D is a whole step, D to E is a whole step. So this only needs the one accidental, which is really nice. You only need one sharp here on F. Okay, so your notes are E, F sharp, G, A, B, C, D, and E for E natural minor. Okay, so we have these basic seven that all start on the white keys of the piano, the all, all the natural ones. Um, and We'll learn in the next video, but just so you don't get confused but until then, um, if you have like F sharp minor, this is still F sharp natural minor. Uh, it's one of the weird places in, in music where you put, say sharp and natural together. It's a little strange, but I hope that doesn't confuse you too much. So we will see this scale next time, E F sharp natural minor. Okay.